This is Blue Flames Sporting Club, a sports and leisure complex built on 15 acres of land at Whitley Park. Hello, my name is Richard and today we are here in Benton, just north of Newcastle City Centre to have a look at the history of Blue Flames Sporting Club. Blue Flame Sports Ground is situated on Whitley Road next to the site of the Newcastle United training ground. The ground here was originally owned by British Gas Northern and was used as a sports facility for their employees. In 1995, as part of the breakup of British Gas, ownership of the ground was transferred to the newly formed gas company Transco, but they did not want to run it as an employee sports facility, so the very future of the ground was thrown into doubt but an employee-led group joined together to save the site for use for all current and former British Gas employees in the North East. With Transco support and agreement, they were able to purchase the site and in 1996, Blue Flame Sporting Club Limited was formed to run the facility. The Sporting Club invested to expand the existing clubhouse and a second function room and gym was added. But this led to financial struggles until 2001 when the excellence of the facilities here attracted Newcastle United to use Blue Flames as their training ground. In the end, Newcastle United stayed for two years and remained close by, moving into their current training centre next door at Darsley Park in 2003, which will feature in a future video. But as Newcastle United were leaving, a new partnership was formed when Blue Flames Sporting Club agreed to lease some of the land to the Northumberland FA for their new headquarters. A full-size floodlit pitch was built with spectator standing along with a new HQ building which opened in 2002. As well as being an administrative centre for the Northumberland FA, the quality of the pitches saw prestige matches played here such as County Cup Finals and Newcastle United Reserves and women's team have also played here. The sporting club decided that they now needed indoor facilities to go alongside the outdoor grass areas so they built a sports hall and a third function room. The project was proposed in 2003, but due to legal issues, it didn't open until 2007 and went 50% over budget. Due to the financial restraints placed on the sporting club, the board decided to become a community amateur sports club, which brought significant tax and rate relief benefits. In order to achieve this, the club had to open up membership to the entire local community and in 2005, the CASC was finally achieved. The indoor facility, named the Blue Flames Conference and Leisure Centre, was opened by former Newcastle United player Peter Beersley in October 2007 and contained three full-size multi-sports courts plus a new function room which can cater for up to 250 people. To help ease the financial burden, in 2013 the club agreed to sell a perimeter strip of land to create an access road to this housing estate behind Whitley Park, which opened in 2014. The money raised from the sale helped fund a new car park, additional drainage, along with new toilet and changing room facilities. The sporting club is now in a healthy position to continue to offer sport and leisure facilities to the entire local community. My name is Richard and this has been the story of the Blue Flames Sporting Club. If you have enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be back very soon with some more interesting content like this. And until then, stay tuned for some bonus drone footage to follow.